In the 80s and 90s, Tawny Welsh appeared in big films like Cocoon. Then she disappeared. So what has Raquel Welsh's daughter been up to lately? Tawny Welsh may be the child of a Hollywood icon, but she's an accomplished actress in her own right. Appearing in both Cocoon and its sequel Cocoon, The Return, back in the 80s, Welsh went on to star in several projects throughout the years, including I Shot Andy Warhol in 1996. While Welsh's later roles never quite managed to capture the public's attention the way the two earlier films did, she did tackle a fair share of modeling work, popping up in major publications like Vogue, Marie Claire, and Interview, among others. And while she might not have earned the bombshell reputation that her mother achieved, Welsh did pose for the November 1995 edition of Playboy, something her mother also did back in 1979. Tawny Welsh may have been busy throughout the 80s and 90s with work in the entertainment industry, but she's seemingly been selective about the job she's taken on in recent years. Her only credit past 1999 is her role in the 2016 sci-fi thriller Two Lava 2 Lanchula, the sequel to 2015's Lava Lanchula. Welsh plays herself in the TV movie alongside Steve Gutenberg, who the actress first worked with on Cocoon back in 1985. While her mother Raquel Welsh was still spotted out and about by paparazzi every now and then until her death, a Tawny sighting is relatively rare these days, and not much is known about how she's filling her time now that she's no longer gracing the silver screen. During the early 1990s, Welsh was linked to I Shot Andy Warhol, co-star Jared Harris. But the current status of her love life is unknown. So what has she been up to lately? First, let's go back to the beginning. Tawny Welsh was born on December 26, 1961. Raquel Welsh's role as a new mom coincided with her burgeoning career. She drew recognition with her performances in the 1966 films Fantastic Voyage and One Million Years BC. The latter film marked a major turning point for Raquel. She played a cavewoman in the film, donning a fur bikini and quickly becoming a media sensation. But it was tough balancing motherhood and work. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, Raquel talked about the challenges of being a mother in the entertainment industry. She said, When I'm running around the world and being Miss Sex Symbol and having this big career in film and everything and I'm running from place to place, I couldn't always be with my children when I wanted to be. Eventually, I could see that this was taking its toll on my kids. I was so tired I didn't know who I was or what I was. Yet over the years, she focused on mending her relationship with her kids. She noted that she took more initiative towards having a closer relationship with them, and it certainly helped. Raquel told Oprah, Little by little, the disappointment or the lack of confidence they had in me melted away. On multiple occasions, Raquel Welsh has discussed her close dynamic with her kids, Damon and Tawny. In an excerpt from her memoir, Beyond the Cleavage, she wrote, Fortunately, my children and I have a good relationship, and they're still my great joy. My son Damon became a computer consultant engineer, and my daughter Tawny, a talented actress known for her role in Cocoon. She also called her children a source of pride and hope in the book, adding, Now, if they'll just give me grandchildren, I'll be complete. That's an ambition of mine only they can fulfill. Raquel's dreams to be a grandparent were not fulfilled, as neither Damon nor Tawny had kids of their own. However, the actor did have a daughter-in-law at one point. In 1990, Damon tied the knot with Rebecca Truman, daughter of famous British cricket player Fred Truman. They split after two years of marriage. On the other hand, Tawny never got married. In addition to her romantic ties with Jared Harris, she also dated actor Luca Polanka in the 90s. Tawny was employed at Polanka's family restaurant, Joe and Joe's Pizzeria, which is where she was introduced to Polanka. 